We are the LEGO Aces, and we want to tell you a story about our friends Andy the Astronaut and Robbie the Rover. Join us to learn how robots can help us in our quest to explore the universe. Hi, I'm Andy and I want to go to the moon. Hey, wait a minute. I'm Rovi the robot and I think I should go instead of you because it's cheaper to send me. Why would it be cheaper to send a robot than a person? When you send a person you also have to send all the air, food, and water needed to keep them alive and a way to get them home safely. That's right, Rovi. In fact, robotic missions are much lighter and thus easier to send into orbit. Sputnik, the first robot in space, weighed 180 pounds. It may seem like that's a lot, but it's nothing compared to the weight of the first manned capsule in space. That one weighed 10,000. Because every pound you launch into orbit can cost thousands of dollars, it's pretty clear why robots are a cheaper alternative for exploring space. Who cares about sending robots to the moon? The whole world cheered when Neil Armstrong walked on the moon and we really need to get humans to break the bonds of Earth. I guess you have a good point. Humans are the most celebrated space explorers. And besides, humans are much more effective detectives and scientists to make new discoveries in space. It's true that robots can't replace humans on a foreign planet, but there is a way for robots and humans to work together. Robots go first, just like they have into orbit, to the moon, and beyond. This is because when humans come, they can explore in more detail because the robots have already done the initial exploration. That's right. My cousin Spirit and Opportunity have been working hard for years on Mars making new discoveries. Well, I'm ready to go back to the moon, so we need to get going soon. If robots are the best next step, let's send them now. In fact, that's exactly what's happening now. The Google Lunar X Prize is offering $30 million to teams who are able to drive a robot on the moon. Private enterprise teams from around the world are competing to develop new technology to cost-effectively explore space. I see how we can be friends to explore space together. Ultimately, humans need to head back to the moon and beyond. And by working together, we can get there faster, safer, and cheaper.